Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, let's talk GoodNote 6. So there are some features that I'm going to be sharing in today's video, some tips that I have been loving and a lot of the features have come along with GoodNotes 6. So my favorite, favorite one is this arrange feature. So you probably remember the drama of having to cut and paste and all that to layer stickers and elements before this upgrade or update and now all we have to do is select the object or the element and then select arrange and then either bring it to front or send it to back which is really helpful when designing vision boards or just layering stickers this ruler has also been really helpful to me you can set the angle so you can change it to 45 if you want or whatever it is that you want to do but really i have been loving using this feature in its purest form and just using it to draw straight lines or make sure my handwriting is straight or my stickers are straight and lining up perfectly so that's why i like that feature so much <laughs> i've also really been obsessing over the dropper tool so now all we have to do to get the perfect color or to match our pen or highlighter or whatever with one of the colors on the page is just select that dropper tool up in the top right and then hover over whatever color we're trying to pick up and then you can copy the hex code and add it elsewhere or you can add that color to your presets so that's one tip that or one feature that i've been loving this hyperlink situation goes crazy because instead of using an outsource outside platform to do any hyperlinking and all of that you can now do it within the good notes app and the cool thing is you can hyperlink to a website or which is the best part of this you can hyperlink to any page within good notes so what i'm doing is first of all you have to create a text box and then you can select that text box and then go ahead and press link and then link it to a website or any other document within good notes i am choosing to link it to one of my fall sticker pages which is the one that i use mainly to create that weekly spread or and my monthly spread so that's why i chose to do that which I think is really helpful. And this feature is going to come in really handy moving forward. Cause like I said, you don't have to use an outside program to do any hyperlinking. You can do it right within the GoodNotes app now, which is superb. Another feature that I have been loving is the folders customization. So you can change the color of your folders to one of the preset colors. Unfortunately, hopefully we'll be able to select, you know, different colors in the future. Cause I would like a brown option and a few other colors. And then you can also change the icons on the folders or you can turn off the icon feature and not have any icon on your folders. But I've been really loving matching up my folders with the seasons and stuff like that. Another feature that I wanted to highlight <laughs> pun intended is this highlighter feature so if you hold down at the end of your highlight it will snap perfectly in place or you can toggle off that feature and still if you draw a line it's still like if you're trying to highlight and you're even remotely drawing in a straight line it'll still give you like a pretty good highlight so i just want to share that you can get the perfect perfect one or even in its basic form you'll still get a decent highlight this other feature is amazing that I recently discovered. If you circle using the pen tool and you hold down, it'll snap it in uh, into a perfect shape. Like if you draw a circle, which the shape tool would do, or if you hold, draw a circle with the pen and you release it, it'll turn into a lasso, which eliminates the need to go back and forth between the pen tool and the lasso tool. And then another feature that I've always known about <laughs> is this linking feature within GoodNotes. You don't have to be in read-only mode to select a link. You can hard, long press, sorry, and it'll allow you to open up a link. So that's a feature that also goes crazy. <laughs> and then this new feature that I discovered is this double tap to undo so try that feature if you haven't already and then i'd say the final feature that's that i've been liking and enjoying that i feel like is worth sharing in this video is the convert to text so if you write out anything you can select it and then convert it to text which is really helpful so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a like subscribe if you're new and if you're liking what you're seeing and i will catch you guys right back here in a few days in a brand new video bye guys